My name is Dave Enger. I'm from Kalamazoo, Michigan, and I'm an amateur skateboarder and professional snow skater. Being from Detroit and being from the Midwest, the winters are about six months long. So being a skateboarder in the winter, unless you go to an indoor park, you don't really have anywhere to skate. So I'd always heard about snow skating, but more of just something you did in your backyard or riding onto a two by four or something. So my buddy and I took the trucks off our board, which never works by the way. And I went on YouTube later that night and typed in snow skate and the first video that popped up was an ambition video and I watched the video and my mind was just blown. I immediately ordered one right then and there and then when it came, I was literally like a kid on Christmas morning. Like I just, I got this board. You could actually pop and do tricks like a normal board. It immediately just kind of took off and I realized, you know, what was actually possible. So an actual Ambition snow skate is seven layers of Canadian maple, so it's wood. And then the grip is a foam grip that you can add studded grip accordingly wherever you want. And then the bottom becomes a layer similar to a snowboard layer that it has grooves in the bottom to help you kind of track and go straight. And the grooves also help you lock into any kind of 50-50 or any kind of trick you want to lock into. I think that when you when you hop on a rail and you lock, it actually feels more comfortable and you lock better than a skateboard. You just lock right in and then when you're in, you're just stuck. And you can even lock, you know, kind of heel toe sometimes. And for a nose grind or I guess nose press, kind of the same thing. You just pretend like it's no different than, than skateboarding. You just kind of lock right in. Perfect conditions, what I tell people their first time trying it is temperature is number one no matter what because if you go out and you're riding in conditions that are warm, maybe like above 32, then the snow is going to be packy and your board's going to be wet and I kind of liken that to skateboarding in the rain. So the very best conditions would be that cold, dry, powdery snow. Typically when we get to a spot we shovel everything off and clear the spot all the way down to bare concrete. And then you throw just a little bit of snow on there. Personally, I get more hot snow skating than skateboarding, mainly because when you get to a spot, you have to spend the time shoveling. And you know, if you're doing it too quickly, then you'll just start to sweat and then it can freeze and then you're in trouble. So the warm up process can be difficult on team trips when we go out in Canada where it can sometimes be like negative 14. And at that point, the snow is almost too dry and you can't even ride because it's just so dry. Really, the filmers are who pay the price for that one, who sit out there and endure the cold. Totally geez, dog. I think the filming was all right. We did a video in the past that was VX and I went through three VXs just from getting cold and breaking, literally on the session. Once I got a snow skate from Ambition, then I just, I quickly realized how much better it was than just riding a board without trucks. So once I started riding that, I just went out with my buddies and they just filmed me and I threw the videos up on a forum on Ambition. And then I got on the team pretty quickly after that. Ever since then, I've been riding for Ambition. And, and in terms of the future, I just want to continue doing what we're doing and just going out and, and trying to make our videos to the status of skate videos and just pushing the limit and really moving into the realm of what's never been done because there really is a lot that has never been done. Snow skating culture really is skateboarding. I think when people look into snow skating, it could be there's, there's kind of a view of like a snowboard type, like mountain resort type feel, but snow skating really just is the essence of skateboarding. And when we go on trips, it's really the same exact thing. You're going to a spot, you're prepping it, which in that case would be shoveling a ton of snow off and chipping ice and everything. But the culture of traveling around and um, you know hitting different cities and trying to find spots is really the same exact thing as skateboarding. I knew we got it. 
Dude, I'm so stoked. One of the biggest things that I like to do is to do a trick in the winter that I did in the summer. So I've been out before and been skating, you know, around November when it's super cold and then it begins to snow and then I've gone back later and done the same trick on a snow skate. So Lafitte was mainly actually focused on spots in, in Canada where Ambition is founded. So a lot of those spots were in Montreal and this part is pretty much all Southwest Michigan and, and in the Detroit area as well. So I tried to hit a lot of the spots that you see in local Detroit videos. I think with Ambition, they've always had a standard of all of their videos and all the products they put out, they wanna make comparable with the skateboard realm. And then with Ambition, it really just is family. I mean, there's not that many snow skaters out there. So when people get to see our videos, they see that we're all just kind of in it for the love of it and trying to push the boundaries of what's possible on a snow skate. Thank you.